Hi everyone, it's Tony Richards and welcome to the Life Focus. I want to talk today for just a couple of minutes about enduring emotional pain. You know, everyone will face and everyone will have to endure some type of emotional pain during your life. I mean, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. The key is to not let it take control of you and to learn to cope and endure. Now, now, let me say right up front, even before I begin here, let me say that I am not a therapist or a counselor and only telling you from my experience what works for me. I believe, I believe that there are a couple of steps that you can take that will help you through emotional pain. And you know, so many people now are experiencing emotional pain in a lot of different areas, a lot of different degrees with the coronavirus. You know, it's, it's caused hardships and financial hardship. It's caused, it's caused hardship in, in jobs, in stress on family situations. Emotional pain is something that we deal with, but how well we deal with it is the most important thing. And the first thing that we have to do when dealing with emotional pain is we have to understand and recognize the pain that we're facing. We have to understand that we are facing this. This has happened to us. We are ha having to go through this. And sometimes that's the hardest thing. But once you recognize that the pain that you're facing is real and that it is happening, it makes a difference. Number two, recognize the problem and obstacles, but focus on solutions. Focus on what are those things that are gonna help me through it. Don't get so locked into the, to the issue that you lose sight of the solution. Three, don't detach yourself from others or even yourself. You see, it's okay to turn inward as long as you don't shut off the world. You know, and I know Robin knows this, that, that there's so many opportunities that we have when we're working with emotional pain, but we also have to realize that we can't detach ourselves from anyone else. Annie, also, we need to shift our pain away from the problem for a while and enjoy something that will give us pleasure. Sports, running, reading, swimming, whatever it might be. We need to also learn how to shift and adjust ourselves away from it. Relax and breathe deep. Sometimes just taking that pause and just brief, briefly taking that deep breath and letting it out Nana, you know, it, it will help us to refocus. It does. Meditate or take a long walk. Whatever it takes to stimulate your mind and release the negative. That's what's important when you're dealing with emotional pain. When ready, find someone you trust to talk through your feelings and emotions. But here it's important because you're going to be exposing yourself in the rawest form. So make sure that person you're talking to is either a licensed counselor or therapist, a very good friend that you know will help you through it. It's never easy, especially for men, because we tend to suppress our emotions and we don't talk about it. But it's a critical step in working through your pain and finding someone to talk with. Learn to cope. I think that's a, a big issue with, with emotional pain when I deal with it. Learn to cope with the problem in this moment and understand that the problem and the magnitude of this pain right now is just in this moment. If you recognize it is there, but begin to focus on solutions and better times, then your internal coping mechanisms will kick in and help you through the process. But no, it's never easy, that's for sure. Emotional pain is never easy. We have to admit that. It's never easy to talk about or it's never easy even to work through. But it will teach us a valuable life lessons and also strengthen our character. And I even believe that it prepares us to help others going through their issues. Maybe not now, but certainly later. So don't stick your head in the sand or run away from emotional pain. Recognize it's, it's going to happen in our life. And many of us are going through it right now with the coronavirus. But again, don't focus on where you are today. Look at where the solutions and how we can get ahead tomorrow. Endure, understand, pray, 
seek professional help if necessary, and face the challenge as an opportunity. And when you do that, then, even through the emotional pain, you will go forward. Hey, thanks for listening today. I hope it's helped you. I pray that the emotional pain that you're feeling right now will be over soon and the solutions and brighter days and opportunities are ahead. Write me at TonyRichardsSpeaking at gmail.com. Check out my website at TonyRichards.net. Thanks so much. Have a great day. God bless. Emotional pain is something we're all going to face. But like the pain itself, we can find those solutions. We can seek the right advice. We can understand and overcome. And then we all go forward.